Hi preschoolers, it's Miss Danny, and I am here with another Zoophonics friend. I brought my friend Ellie and she is here to teach you about the letter E. The letter E is one of those hardworking letters. It's called a vowel. So sometimes it says eh, 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 and sometimes it says its name E. To remember the letter E, well, we're gonna make a trunk, of course. So put your arm out, make a trunk, and wave it back and forth, back and forth. Ellie, elephant, letter E says eh, eh, eh. Awesome job. So the letter E is a big, tall letter that looks like that. And what kind of lines do you see? Yes, lots of straight lines, huh? I see a big line and I see some little lines. So what lines would you use to make the letter E? Should we use this one? No. So, yep, let's use a big line. And then how many little lines do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three. Ooh, perfect. One, two, three. Awesome. Thumbs up if you were going to do that too. All right, well, let's learn how to write the letter E. Of course, we start at the top, and we're going to go down, frog jump, and we're going to make three short lines. Let's do it again. Start at the top, down, frog jump, one, two, three. You can use your imaginary finger and do it with me, too. Down, frog jump, one, two, three. Awesome job. So I asked Ellie what she wanted to do today, and she said, well, of course you have to read my favorite book called Ellie, because it's all about her. Also, we have a really fun song to do with you, okay? So we're gonna start with the story, Ellie. And I want you to look at the pictures carefully, because you're gonna notice them changing. Look at that zoo. Does that look like a happy zoo? No, it looks really kind of boring dark. Ellie. Here, let's do this. On a bright winter day when Ellie was just finishing her lunch, the zookeeper came by with an announcement. Gather around, Walt called. I have some news. It's a sad day, he said. The zoo is closing. The animals were heartbroken. There must be something we can do, Ellie whispered to her friends. The zoo is our home. Perhaps we can spruce it up a bit, Jared suggested. Jared always had good ideas. I'll prune the tree, Lucy said, nibbling a leaf. I'll move this rock, Jared huffed, clearing it off the path. If only my muscles were bigger, said Ellie. Oh, she wants to help so bad. We've already cleaned here, said the monkeys. <sighs> what can I do to help, Ellie wondered. It seemed like everyone had a talent. Everyone but Ellie. Oh, she looks so sad. Ellie thought she'd ask Walt to give her a job, but he was too busy. When the monkeys called him away, Ellie picked up the strange object that, she, that he'd been holding. It had smooth wood on one side and prickly hairs on the other. Ooh, do you know what that is? A paintbrush. Good job. Ellie gave it a try. Ooh, what color is that? Yellow. When Walt returned, he saw her creation. He sprinted back down the path without saying a word. Had she ruined the wall? Poor Ellie. Soon she heard a wagon with a squeaky wheel turn the corner. Maybe Walt did like her painting. Ellie added a color here and a rainbow there. There were so many walls to color, color and so many colors to try. Ellie painted 
all of her friends. She painted the tallest ones, the smartest ones, and the quietest ones. Word of Ellie's talent spread. We look at the lion saying roar, the bird saying chirp. And then the guy is on the phone calling all of his friends saying, Ellie, the artist. People came from all over the city to have their portraits painted. They came with balloons. Others came with awards. Ellie even painted the mayor with a smile on his face. Look at those paintings. Soon, people from all around the world came to see Ellie, the remarkable painting elephant. Lucy hosted the crowds as they arrived at the zoo. Jared led tours through Ellie's art gallery. And on a bright spring day, when crowds were cheering him on, Walt declared, we are staying open for good, thanks to Ellie. Oh, wow, look at the zoo now. Do you see a difference? Bright colors, everything's blooming, all the paint. Oh, wow, who knew Ellie's such a good painter? You guys like painting too? Awesome. All right, well, we have a really fun song today about an elephant and his friends who go and play on a spider web. Are you ready? For part of this story, you have to help me out. You have to shout, oh, elephants. Can you do that? Let's practice. Oh, elephants. All right, here we go. Let's see, can Ellie hang out right here? I think she'll fall over. Well, maybe we're okay. Wait. I forgot that she's blocking the board. Ready? Here we go. One elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. He had such enormous fun. He called for another elephant to come. Ready? Oh, elephant! Do, 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 do. Got another one. Two elephants went out one day upon a spider's web to play. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Oh, elephant! I got another one. There we go. Three elephants went out one day upon a spider's web to play. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Oh, elephant. Ooh, let's see if we have another friend. Wow, look at all those elephants playing. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. All right. Four elephants went out one day upon a spider's web to play. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Oh, elephant! Here he comes. I think that spider web might break. We better be careful. Here we go. Five elephants went out one day upon a spider's web to play. They had such enormous fun. They called for all of elephants to come. Oh, elephant! Let's count how many we ended up with. One, two, three, four, five. Show me five. Good job. All right. Thanks, Ellie. That was some great activities. Let's practice our elephant trunk for Ellie the elephant, letter E. Okay, get your trunks out. We're gonna wave it back and forth. Ellie elephant, letter E says eh, eh, eh. Awesome job, preschoolers. 
see you next time.